Hey, what's going on? It's Trip Kramer here from TripAdvice.com. Our parents are raising simps. I think that most millennials are simps. I think I was a simp for a very long time. I think there's still things that I do that are kind of simpy just because they've been ingrained in me from the moment that I was born. Okay, so first of all, when I say simp, what am I talking about? I'm basically talking about a softy, a beta, um, a guy who is a nice guy who is trying to just be super nice, thinking that if he just pleases everyone, then everyone's going to like him, sort of manipulative stuff like that. And I think it's funny, too, because I know that this is one of those videos that a feminist would call toxic masculinity. Uh, but I want to go a whole different route here because what I never preach to guys is that you should be a jerk, be a dick, uh, you should never... Uh, show emotions, any of those things. But one thing that has been a problem here in terms of how we've been raised is I feel it's gone too far on the other end. The fact that we were raised as getting... Uh, I, I had about 15 trophies from when I was growing up. I did not earn any of those trophies. Not one. It was 100% participation trophies. Yes, that's right. I was not an athletic kid growing up. I played sports for fun with the kids in the neighborhood, but I never joined any official leagues and somehow I had a bunch of trophies. And uh, I remember getting those trophies. They were cool because they look cool, but it didn't make me feel special. I, I think they're all in the trash now. I don't even know where any of them are. Why? They weren't special to me. I never earned them. Our parents are raising simps. They teach us to be nice to everyone, and I get it. You should be polite to people. Uh, you should make sure that you're not deliberately hurting someone. But you also should be a man who is speaking his truth and speaking his opinions. I think we're all kind of walking on eggshells, especially now. I think that the parents now are probably going to do the same things to their kids, and they're going to uh, raise softies because we are in such a culture where anything you say is so sensitive that, and even I'm affected by it. There's plenty of videos where I want to speak more truth. And by the way, I'm trying to create more of these to be able to do so, but it's tough because we're ingrained to not do that, to not rock the boat at all. That if we say something that's going to hurt someone's feelings, that's more important than speaking our truths. I believe speaking truths is way more important. Here's an example that comes down to dating when it, when it talks about speaking your truth. And this is an interesting situation that I come across in my coaching program all the time with the guys that I work with. When I have them go and approach a group of girls, they say, well, if I approach a group of girls and I'm hitting on one of the girls, isn't the other girl going to be upset? Isn't she going to be upset that I'm not getting her number? And so I say, well, what's the alternative? Not approaching? Okay, that doesn't seem to be a good idea. What about Getting both of their numbers. Well, that's not going to work either because now you're just creating some sort of friendly environment and you're not really asking any one of them out because obviously you can't ask both of them out. They're friends. And of course, they're ingrained to just feel like they don't, like there's a barrier where they, they can't push through to, to get over there and do that because they don't want to hurt someone's feelings. Well, what do you think the real answer is here? The answer is go over, approach the girls, talk to them, Talk to one of the girls that you're more interested in. You can talk to the other one a little bit, but get the number of the girl that you're interested in. If the girl has hurt feelings, that's not your problem. That's her problem. And this is, again, this is the idea of not playing victim and taking control over your own emotions and the responsibility for your own feelings. You're not deliberately hurting somebody. You're asking someone out. If that, By the way, we're just assuming that that girl's gonna be hurt. She might not care at all. She might have a boyfriend. She might think that you're not attractive. She not, might be interested in you. So what we're doing here is, again, we're trying to make sure by uh, walking on eggshells and tippy-toeing around situations that we're not hurting people by being a more actual, genuine, and authentic person. I urge you as a guy who's trying to live a more genuine, and authentic life and speak their truth, to do that more often and find out where in your life, where in your life right now are you not being genuine and authentic in order to not hurt someone's feelings, even though, 
again, it's not deliberate hurt. Let's see some examples. I want actually very curious to see. Write down right now in the comment below anywhere where you think in your life where you feel you should be more honest and and uh, feel more integrity with yourself. Where is that in your life? Again, our parents are raising simps. Again, I I was a total simp when I was growing up, and I still think there's parts of me, and I still work on to fix some of those things. I think. I've worked on enough things to overcome being a people pleaser, being a nice guy, and that has worked so much better in my life with friends, with family, with approaching and meeting women, right? So I would not have been able to attract the woman I'm with right now if I was just being very soft, very beta, very indirect, and not leading and not stepping into a more courageous version of myself. I ask you to step up a little bit more, to stop simping, to stop being the nice guy, to stop doing all these nice things in order to get people to like you because the secret is when you try to do these nice actions like buy girls flowers and do people a bunch of favors and let people step on you, they don't respect you. Intuitively, you think they do, but they don't. In fact, they disrespect you. Start speaking up, start giving your real opinion Stop doing everything to get everyone to like you. It's not going to work. I hope this was eye-opening today. If you like these videos, I'll be putting out more videos on these kinds of topics. Press the like button, and I'll see you on the next video.